super beautiful. These are the Black King. They are definitely ready to be harvested. And uh, we have a few more of the King Oysters that are ready to go. Nice thick stems. Unfortunately, I, I waited a bit too long. We have some more Italian Oysters that are way past prime that I guess you'd call it a second flush. And then way in the back there, we have uh, Blue Oysters that are doing a second flush as well. That looks like a really nice second flush. So we've got some serious oyster mushroom and well mushrooms in general going on so this is pretty darn exciting i wanted to make a quick video because we're about to harvest this with the little ones so i wanted to make sure i got them on camera before i totally destroyed them um but i think going forward we're gonna stick with oyster this because uh, i gotta make a choice because the next round of mushrooms i'm gonna do i'm going to create my own bulk substrate in bulk <laughs> I'm going to attempt to sterilize it in micro bags in the instant pot. That's the plan. But uh, I'm probably going to do oyster mushrooms going forward because one, they dry really nicely and I can powder them very easily. And that's thus far, that's typically how we've used the, the mushrooms. We don't really eat them fresh. Typically I pick them, I dry them, and then I powder them. So um, a lot of the the standard oyster mushrooms are done the best. It's really fun to grow shiitake, but drying them they become kind of like hard rubbery lumps sort of they don't really dry out like bone crisp and ready to crunch down into powder like the oyster standard oysters do and the oyster varieties with the thicker stems the stems don't really powder as well um so the standard oyster like a blue oyster has a really thin stem and a large cap these black kings beautiful mushrooms big stems and of course the king the king oysters are nothing but thick stem. And a lot of people are saying slice those, make them into, uh, slice them fresh, make them into quote unquote scallops. That's very interesting and I definitely will try it in the future. But I think um, in the next round of mushrooms, I need to pick one going forward because I'm going to order a gigantic bag of grain spawn from North Spore. But um, like I said, create dozens and dozens of bags of my own bulk substrate, hopefully sterilized in micro bags in the instant pot and you know inoculate them let them grow etc etc so i need to focus on something so probably i'll go with blue oysters thus far it's been one of my overall favorite mushrooms to grow also choosing oyster mushrooms because they the mycelium is very aggressive um, which means less chance of getting contaminants because it quickly takes over a bulk substrate uh, also oyster mushrooms are also um very not not particularly picky about the substrate that's used. They don't need a ton of supplementation. They grow on a lot of different kinds of waste materials, um, straw, wood chips, pellets, sawdust, literally any carbon heavy bulk material. They'll pop a cardboard. They'll, um, they can dominate very quickly and draw some nutrition from. So I'll probably start experimenting with supplementation, but again, Oyster mushrooms are the way to go. These are really cool looking, these Black Kings. So I don't know, maybe I'll try them. We'll see how they dry up. We're going to harvest them and dry them up tonight. But in any case, that is a whole big, big talking point. So look forward to more mushroom adventures in the future. We're doing some, we're going to be doing some crazy big stuff. We're going to fill up this whole thing and grow thousands and thousands of mushrooms. If you like that idea, be sure to give the video a thumbs up. It really helps my channel out. My videos have been doing so, so well lately. And it's because of you guys giving the thumbs up and commenting below. You know, it's it's a great way to help the channel. And if you appreciate my content, I would appreciate it. The thumbs up. So in any case, thanks so much for watching as always. And uh, I'll be back with some more adventures. We're gonna take a slight break from mushroom adventures. We're gonna be talking a lot more about the hydroponics in plants. And we're getting so close to springtime that we're gonna hopefully start talking about growing outdoors very soon. But in any case, until then, thanks so much for watching. As always, thank you for joining me on this journey. Bye-bye. Keep filming. Oh. <laughs> oh. All right. All right. Give me, give me, give me, give me. I want to cut them off. All right. Let's do it.